All right, you're listening to The Basement on WDBM East Lansing. I am your host, Abby. Tonight, I have a special guest with me as my co-host, Mason. Do you want to introduce yourself for everybody? Yeah, hey, everyone. I'm Mason Voy, and I'm the music director at uh, Impact. And we both have an artist in the studio, that which everyone's been really excited about because it's an Impact alum, Connor Lynch. Thank you for being here, by the way. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, back, I guess. Yeah, Yeah, it's great to have you back. Do you want to start us off with a couple songs? Sure, yeah. Perfect. Uh, so this first one is called Bleed. I know it's been the plan all along Pretending like you've done nothing wrong But your friends must know the real you If they don't, I think they will soon Don't you think it's about time to Face all the people you have lied to No use covering your tracks up You'll never know how bad you messed up And I cannot hold my tongue Cause you know what you have done You've been lying through your teeth So stop smiling at me I know you'd rather see us So that last song and the next one are from my album Fake, which came out uh, like around this time last year. So this one is called King of It. Just 
trashy passing But I'm still the king of it Standing on top of it Looking down at the valley below Grow my hair out Fake some But I'm still the king of it Standing on top of it The ship is sinking fast But I am still in command You couldn't understand Cause my life is in my hands So it's been a while since you've been here. Yeah. How does it feel to be back in the studio? Um, fine, I guess. Yeah. It's not too weird or anything. It, you know, it seems right. it hasn't been that long, I guess. But that's true. It just, I guess, with everything that happens, it just feels like, it, yeah. you know, it's been a while. But I, re- I mean, is it different though being in this side and being the performer than um, being in the mixing room, or do you feel like that gave you like the right you know like the proper preparation i think it gave me the proper preparation yeah yeah yeah. because also i think i did like a couple times like perform like as Mm -hmm. like a practice basement session or like that sort of stuff all right right yeah so yeah yeah and it's Mm -hmm. kind of funny for me too because it feels very full circle because the first thing i did here was join audio team and I mean, I was too shy whenever we had to do something. You guys were like, does anyone want to come up and test it? But <laughs> it's just cool to have you back in here and be like, I don't know. It, it's cool to see you. So I was also doing a deep dive on your Spotify. And uh, I yeah. saw that you have been releasing music since like 2016, at least officially. Yeah. Where did your music journey begin? Like, was it in childhood? Have you always been interested in it? Uh, Yeah, I would say so. I, I started like piano lessons when i was like Mm -hmm. nine or ten or something so yeah i did piano lessons for a couple years and then you know i was like really into like classic rock i guess like my dad's like led zeppelin albums and that sort of thing so i was like you know screw the piano like i want to (laughs) play electric guitar so totally so then i started taking guitar lessons like throughout like middle school and like part of high school and then towards the end of high school I like just started like recording stuff on garage band on my computer and then kind of went from there I guess yeah yeah that's awesome for sure um and along those same lines I just wanted to ask um in crafting your songs and your albums uh, who do you count among like your inspirations I guess maybe it's not necessarily Led Zeppelin anymore right um I would say definitely, like, number one inspiration is Alex G. I feel like, I feel like, uh, people can kind of tell, but, um, yeah, just, uh, his music kind of, like, when I first got into him, I was like, okay, like, I want to make music that sounds like this, uh, and then I guess more recently, like, I have been more influenced by, like, uh, some like folk artists, I guess, sort of going back in that direction, like uh, Jillian Welch. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Neil Young has always been a favorite of mine as well. So that's funny that you say that because when you were playing something, just kind of picking along, I was thinking, oh, that sounds like Neil Young, but yeah, that's a hit or miss. I feel like so I didn't want to say it, and you would be insulted. Right, right. But now I feel better because I was like, oh, that's really cool, and it reminded me of that. So yeah. it's funny that you say that. 
For sure. I think especially on your first song, um, you can tell the very visceral songwriting is a lot like LSU, and it's I find it very cool and interesting. Thank you. Um, and then a sort of follow up to that. Um, I remember when I first engaged and met with you a couple years ago, um, that you resonate a lot with artists like Alex G and Big Thief. Mm-hmm. Um, and how do you think, or how do you find your influences presenting themselves, like in your music? I guess it's hard to say. I definitely um. Like, when I'm writing a song at first, usually, like, the inspiration comes to me after I've, like, just listened to, like, another song, and I'll, like, pause it halfway through and then start, like, messing around on the guitar. And often I'll, like, name my songs at first, like, you know, Big Thief-ish or, like, Alex G sounding, like, 8 or something because it's, like, you know, there's been a lot of those ones. Um... So, yeah, I guess just sort of, like, trying to emulate them, but I, in a way that's still, like, uh, you know, using my other influences to make it my own thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm definitely not really afraid to, like, wear my influences on my sleeve. I think that's, like, an important thing to do. I'm not going to try to pretend, like, I'm, like, coming up with a brand new sound or anything like that so yeah well I think that's the cool thing though about I mean individuality in general even if you were doing exactly what Alex G was doing it would still be different because it's yours so I mean you can hear it but it still definitely is is you you know Mm -hmm. and that's cool then when as we're listening to it you know yeah I certainly like a very distinct voice and that's really cool um and Mm -hmm. I guess this is along that same long uh, line as well but um, how would you describe your music to someone who hasn't heard it before? I, I guess maybe just, like, guitar music. It's, like, mm-hmm. all very, like, bass around the guitar and, like, you know, folk or indie rock or, like, uh, just, like, throughout all of those genres where, like, the guitar is kind of, like, the main focus. And, uh Yeah. I guess somewhat mm-hmm. singer song writer e too, but yeah. So uh, this is kind of going back to what I was talking about before. When I started here, you were the chief audio engineer mm-hmm. here, right? Yeah. So how has that affected your music career? And when I say that, I guess I I mean, do you do everything yourself still? Uh yeah. So yeah, like on my uh stuff on spotify or Mm -hmm. whatever uh i do like play and record all the instruments myself except for like you know i'll have somebody play the trumpet or like the fiddle or right sometimes drums uh but yeah definitely recording music um that's kind of why i was able to get the position of the audio engineer here because i already had some audio tech experience um so yeah that's definitely like a part of my music is sort of like the production side of it the like for sure uh recording side of it yeah yeah would you like to someday maybe have a a different producer or work with someone else or do you like to be in control of all that right Uh, i definitely am like open to it because honestly like i'm sort of like i get burnt out on like doing it myself like especially like the mixing it's like really kind of tedious to like mix your own song Mm -hmm. so uh i'm honestly just started working on like a new recording a new album uh with a friend so like he's sort of helping me out like with uh like the engineering like production side of it i mean we're like working together but i was kind of like like i'll let you like handle some of this so that i can really just focus on uh the songwriting i guess right and i don't know i don't know if you still do it this way but it stuck with me when we would sit through the like you know mixing tutorials or whatever Mm -hmm. do you still use compressor first and then eq i thought i used eq and then compressor i'm pretty sure that's what i did really yeah i thought you used compressor for okay well you sent me on a whole journey because i was like then maybe Max was the one that did that. Yeah, maybe. It had to, it was one of you. Okay. okay, well, either way, I was, ever since then, I was yeah. like, maybe it's beneficial to use compressor first, and I kind of went off of it. I, but. It is like, I mean, it's a preference thing. I know right. there are some, like, 
mixers who do that. It's kind of just like a, I don't know. Right. Well, anywho, whoever said it is stuck with me. And I right. st- I, I thought always thought it was you, though, and I always, like, thought of you whenever I was mixing. So I was like, That's funny. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? So um, speaking also about your songs, what usually inspires you to write a song, and what does that process look like for you? I think, like I said earlier, what inspires me is just listening to music. Mm-hmm. I definitely kind of think of myself as like a music fan first Mm -hmm. you know I really like to just consume like as much like new music as possible Mm -hmm. uh and then yeah once I like hear a sound that kind of like really catches my ear I'm like okay I kind of want to like try to do that or something similar and then like the songwriting process yeah I guess I'll just like noodle around with some different chords until something kind of sounds yeah interesting and then think of like where it could go from there um and then usually i'll have like the instrumental for a song done for like sometimes like years before i ever write yeah. lyrics lyrics are definitely dead last i so, feel that yeah. yeah yeah well would you like to play a couple more songs sure yeah sweet so this one It's called Big Lawn. Empty summer afternoon Memories of the big lawn The big lawn Nothing like a day in June Sky is blue So this next one is a new one that I'm working on, I guess. Uh, We'll be on the next album whenever that comes to be. Uh, So for now, uh, this one is called Hill. Split in the hill, lead me wherever you will, out past the back fence. Can't see over it still. 
to be on a big hill somewhere I've never been How can I find it again How can I find Hot sun burning my face, but not leaving a trace on a day with no end. One last glance from a friend, you won't see again past this summer's end. How can I find? How can I find it again?